President Obama raised eyebrows when he appointed Hillary Clinton Secretary of State, his fiercest Democratic rival in the presidential campaign trail. In her first 11 years as First Lady of Arkansas, she made great strides towards reforming the state's educational standards for public schools. She also initiated the Children's Health Insurance Program, which increased research funding for prostate cancer and childhood asthma. Hillary has received numerous awards, like the Secretary of Defense Medal for Outstanding Public Service. As her presidential campaign picked up steam in 2007, Bill and Hillary sold millions worth of stocks in their blind trust to prevent conflicts of interest. Blind trusts, which are managed by an independent trustee, are popular among politicians who wish to keep their investments hidden from the public eye. The Clintons deny any knowledge of the holdings in their blind trust, but it turns out they had hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in prominent pharmaceutical companies, big oil companies BP, Amoco, Exxon, and Chevron, defense giant Raytheon, and retail king Walmart. During the 80s, Hillary served on Walmart's board of directors for six years. Her list of campaign donors, like Obama's, includes the most prominent corporations and banks in America. The donor list includes contributions from Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase, Merrill Lynch, Time Warner, News Corp, and General Electric. Furthermore, Hillary's husband, Bill Clinton, has made millions giving speeches to big corporations since leaving office, including banks that have collapsed and received federal bailout money. The Huffington Post reported that in 2007, employees from the top five defense corporations, including Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, gave Hillary's presidential campaign more money than any other candidate in either party. As Secretary of State, Clinton is fourth in line to the presidency and the highest-ranking cabinet secretary. Her job title makes her President Obama's chief foreign policy advisor. She has supported our presence in Iraq since the very beginning and is already working hard to lobby the Senate for more war funding for Iraq and Afghanistan. In light of her recent lobbying efforts and her obvious allegiance to corporate interests, can Hillary Clinton be trusted to fight for the American people?